right now, you are under the curse because you won't repent and keep God's laws. That's right. It's gonna get worse. You ain't seen nothing yet. You think what happened in South Carolina? That's just beginning. Right. That's nothing. Bring it out. Give me Leviticus 26, 17. Bring it out. Because you're hard-headed. You won't obey the God. You won't obey the laws of God. He sent his son for you only. But you're hard-headed and stiff-necked and rebellious. And because of that, the Most High will continue to put you to death. Right. Read. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 17. And I will set my face against you. Because we pissed God off, he set his face against us. Right. Read. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. Read that again. And ye shall be slain before your enemies. That's what's going on right now. We're being slain right. before our enemies. Because we won't obey God. Right. Read. They that hate you. They that what? They that hate you. No, I thought the white man loves me. They that hate you uh -huh. shall reign over you. These nations, especially so-called white man, he is the red man, is reigning and ruling over us. Bring it out. Read. And ye shall flee when none pursue with you. Wait a minute, what happens when we see cops? The brother, the Negro runs. Even though the cops will not chase them. You see the cops and he runs. Because of your wickedness. That's Read. right. And if ye will not yet for all this hearken unto me. And for all this being gunned down in the streets. Being shut up in your churches. If you still won't repent and obey his voice. Then I will punish you seven times more. How many times more? Seven times more uh -huh. for your sins. He's going to punish us seven times more for That's our sins. Right. It's going to get worse. You ain't seen nothing yet. Bring it out. Give me Hosea 515. You ain't seen nothing yet. You keep praying to your white Jesus. Right. Bring it keep out. it up. Keep on. He ain't helping you. He's the same one that's punishing and killing you. That's right. How is a, this Edomite go in the church, sit in the church for an hour, and nobody asks that Edomite, what are you doing here? Who are you? And pat him down. That's the sickness of our people. To think that the so-called Edomites love us. The Edomites hate you. That's right. The Edomite, the red man, the so-called white man hates you. That's right. right. And the Most High is revealing that every day. Bring it out. But you still go and march. You still go and pray to white Jesus. You still go to politicians. Right. Read. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. I will go and return to my place. The Lord is going to return to his place. Read. To they acknowledge their offense. To we acknowledge our offense. To we repent. They repent to God for breaking his laws. But we have not done that. Read it again. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Till we acknowledge our offense and we repent. Right. Return to God and the faith of Christ and keep his commandments. Until we do that, it's going to get worse. That's right. Read. And seek my face in their affliction. They will seek me early. Read that last part again. And seek my face in their affliction, they will seek me early. In our affliction, in our persecution, we're going to seek the most high then, but it hasn't got bad enough yet. You're still worried about basketball wives, you still worry about your Xbox, you still worry about LeBron James, instead of worrying about the most high, what he requires of us. That's right. It's going to get worse. Right. It's time for you Negroes. You so-called Hispanics to wake out of your sleep. That's right. Give me lamentations, 417. Bring it out. Bring it out. But you refuse to come to the Lord for your help. You go to your enemies for your help. That's a sick people. How you gonna go to the same man that's gunning you down in the streets? That's not giving you justice in his justice system. Bring it out. That's for right. your help. How can you do that? Our people are bugged out. Read. Lamentations, chapter 4, verse 17. As for us, our eyes are yet failed for our vain help. Our eyes have failed for our vain help. America is not going to help you. 
They give you a little crumbs to keep you satisfied, to keep you past pacified. That's right. They're not here to help you. Right. Read it again. As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. Our eyes have failed for our vain help. Hey, brother, brother with the bike, got a question for you. Yes, sir. What do you think is going on in South Carolina? Some, uh, some shit that's been going on for too come long. Come here, come here, bro. I'm your brother. Some shit that's been going on for too long. It's just perpetuated. Why? Right? Why is it happening? Do you run 2015? No. What? No, why? Why? I'm asking you, bro. I'm asking you for a solution. Oh, shit, man. Well, what y'all are talking about, man? What are we talking about? We're talking about, you know, taking shit back and trying to really... Taking it back. Up. Are we going to take it back in our mindset that we're in right now? No, hell no, man. That's the problem I got too, man. I'm trying to... <laughs> Okay, hold on. All right, what's your nationality? I'm 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 black and Filipino. What's your father? My father's uh black and uh Chippewa. Okay, so you're an Israelite, according to the Bible. Yes, sir. You from the tribe of Judah. Yes, That's sir. who you are. That's you're not black. Right. You're not Filipino. There's no such thing as a mixed race. You are who your father is. Bring it out. Hold that. Give me numbers one and eighteen. We're gonna prove that out of the Bible. America tells you there's uh, there's a new term they're using now, transracial. Right. What the hell is that? Right. That's not in the Bible. God deals with nations of people. That's and he right. identifies the nations of people in the Bible. That's right. There are 18 nations in the Bible. But it's time for us to realize who we are in the Bible. That's right. We're not black. Black is a color in the crayon box. Right, right. We're not African American. Right. That's two white men, right. so called. Right. Read that. Numbers chapter 1 verse 18 and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month So they assembled all the congregations all the people of Israel, right? We are and they declared their pedigrees. What's pedigree mean? <laughs> uh, what? Oh, it's your lineage your lineage, right? Read that part again and they declared their pedigrees uh -huh. after their families by the house of their fathers. So your nationality is determined by your father. You understand that? Not your mother. Right, right. The seed comes from the father. Right. If I take an apple seed and I plant it in China, is it a Chinese apple? Right. It's an apple. Right. If I take that same seed and plant it in Italy, right. is it an Italian apple? Same shit. It's an apple. Yeah. That's who we are. We are who our father is. That's you understand right. that? Right. Now, go to Deuteronomy 2015. This, you go to church? I found a good church yet, man. Good. Because there ain't none. We the church. That's right. That's right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What does hearken mean? To call. To listen. It means to listen. So Moses is telling the Israelites, if you will not listen to the voice of the Lord your God, which is this Bible, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. To observe, to understand, and to do all the commandments. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses. All these what? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. But because we did not listen to God, he says he will put these curses on us. Now, go to verse 16. Bring it out! First shalt thou be in the city. Hold on, brother. Oh, hold on. I gotta go, man. I gotta go. Where are you going? I gotta go. You gotta go to work? Yes, All right, take that flyer. Yes, look it up on the internet. And rest of the class. All right? Yes, That's where you're gonna find out who you are and why we're going through this and the solutions. Yes, it's not coming from pork shop pastor. Right. Exactly. They're here to deceive you. God bless, man. Read. Curse! Shall there be in the city? We are cursed in the city. Every city in America, we are cursed. The worst neighborhoods of where we live. That's right. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Our neighborhoods are so different than everybody else's. Abortion clinics, rape, robbery, murder, selling drugs, gang violence. We are cursed in the city. That's right. That's our people. Not other nations. That's us. That's right. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. We're cursed in the field. Back in slavery, we were cursed in the field. And today on our jobs, we're cursed. We get the lowest pay. 
as a nation of people. But we think that we're saved, that we're in the land of our of the American dream. This is an American nightmare. That's right. This is not the American dream. The dream that Martin Luther King gave you is a lie. That's right. Give me a little bit. Give me Jeremiah 23, 25. Start at verse 1. We're going to expose these so-called pastors. We're going to expose them for leading you astray. You continue to go to these churches and nothing has gotten better. There's a church on almost every corner in the ghetto. And you got drugs, trash, crime all over the place. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 1. Will be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. Read that again. Will be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. Will means destruction. Destruction to the pastors that scatter his sheep, which are you Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Right. Will be unto them. Read on. Say the Lord, therefore, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel. The Lord God of who? God of Israel. Against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have scattered my flock. You scattered his flock. You scattered God's people with these false religions. Bring it out. These false ideologies. The white man is not your friend. Right. All nations are not going to be saved. That's right. Jesus loves everybody. No, he doesn't. Bring it up. Go to verse 25. Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 25. Now this is the talking about the man that you so-called Negroes esteem so high. Let's see what kind of man he was. Read. I have heard what the prophets said. He's heard what the false prophets have said. Read. That prophesy lies in my name. They prophesy what? Lies in my name. You prophesied lies in the name of the Lord. Read. Saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Wait a minute, I thought that was the American dream. I have dreamed, I have dreamed. That is a lie. Read. How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? They prophesy lies. That I have a dream speech is a lie. Bring it out. And, and your Negroes are asleep because of it. That's right. Give me Hebrews. Hebrews 11. Bring it out. And 14. Bring it out. Those lies have put you Negroes to sleep. The little black boys and little white boys will hold hands together and play. Oh, yeah? What happened when that little white boy went in your church? That's he shot right. you up and killed you. That's, That's right. right. That's because of the lies your pastors are teaching you. But you will not hearken to the voice of God. Read that. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 14. For they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. We seek our own country, our own land. That's right. Where we rule. And we have all nations in subjection under us. That's right. That's what we seek, a better country. Read. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country, if we were mindful of the homeland that we had before, from whence they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. We would have returned to our homeland if we kept God's laws. Hold that. Give me oh, Micah 2 and 10. But we've been deceived to think that America is, for one, one thing, the land of milk and honey. It's our American dream, our homeland. No, it's not. Right. The Bible's going to tell you what America is. Read. Micah chapter 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. America is not your rest. That's right. Read that again. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. America is not your rest. Right. You are put here for your punishment right. to get your minds right and repent right. and keep the commandments. That's what you're here for. Read on. Because it is polluted. But it is polluted. What is America? It is polluted. America is polluted. Right. 
polluted with all these philosophies, these That's doctrines, right. religions. You can do whatever you want. You can be whatever you want. You can go from being a man to being a woman. That you're a mixed race. No, you're not. You are who your father is. That's right. This place is polluted. That's right. It's filthy. And it's destroying our people. Read that again. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. America is polluted. A polluted with all these religions. Christianity. Jehovah wickedness. Read on. It shall destroy you. What will America do to us? It shall destroy you. It was going to destroy us. And that's what's going on right now. We are being destroyed. But your Negroes are still asleep. You so-called Hispanics are still asleep. America is destroying us. Read. Even with a sword destruction. A sword destruction. Like I said before, we ain't seen nothing yet. Go back to Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 15. And truly, if they had been mindful of that country. If we were mindful of the first country we were in, which is Jerusalem. Right. That's our homeland. That's, that's right. our motherland. That's right. Not Africa, the dusty Africans. Read. From which they came out, they might have had opportunity to have returned. We would have the opportunity to return back to our homeland. But the only way we're getting there now. It's by repenting as Israelites, keeping the commandments and the faith of Christ. That's right. That's right. Christ is the only one that can save us out of this condition. That's right. That's right. And Christ is not a so-called white man. Right. That image, where's that demon at? Where's Charles Manson at? Bring it out. This is in your heads. Get this out of your minds. Bring it out. This is the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. This is not your savior. Hey, so Christ has not gone. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's what Cristo Blanco, that's Diablo. He is the right. devil. Give me Revelations 1 and 1. We're going to prove it out of the Bible. We're going to prove it. Read. Revelations chapter 1 verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him. This is the revelation or the revealing of Christ. This is what Christ really looked like. Give me verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. What color hair does this demon have? It's stringy and it's brown. Christ had white woolly hair. Read on. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Christ's eyes were red because he drank wine in moderation. He was not a drunkard, but Christ drank wine. This demon, what color his eyes? The blue eyes. Read on. And his feet like unto fine brass. Fine brass is dark brown. So John only saw his feet that was dark brown. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. As if they burn in a furnace. You take anything, you throw it in a furnace and take it out, it is black. That's right. This is not your savior. That's right. right. This is the devil the Bible speaks of. Right. And it's high time you wake out of your sleep That's to right. realize that this image, this man is not going to save you. That's right. He's going to continue to destroy you. The Most High has brought his prophets back That's right. to show you who you are according to the Bible. Bring it out. To reveal the scriptures to you because you don't know what the scriptures are. You don't know who you are. You've taken on the names of your slave master. That's right. But the kingdom of God is for the Israelites. That's right. Not for all nations. Give right. me Daniel. Bring it out. 7 and 18. We're going to prove all things out of the Bible. Read. Daniel chapter 7 verse 18. But the saints of the Most High. The saints of the Most High. Give me Psalms 148, 14. Get out. We're going to prove who the saints are. Bring it out. Like the devil, Mother Teresa. The saints are the Israelites. Read right. right. that. Psalms chapter 148, verse 14. He also exalted the horn of his people. The horn of his people is Christ. Read. The praise of all his saints. Uh-huh. 
even of the children of Israel. That's you are the saints? Even of the children of Israel. The saints are you Israelites. That's right. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's you right. are the saints. That's right. Go back to Daniel. Bring it out. 17. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. So what? Shall take the kingdom. No, we're going to march. Shall take the kingdom. We're going to negotiate with the enemy. Shall take the kingdom. The Israelites are going to take the kingdom. No. We're going to take it by force. We. And possess the kingdom forever. How long? Forever. Read on. Even forever and ever. Then. That's it. We're going to possess the kingdom forever. That's right. There's no other nation going to rise up again. Right. We are going to be the new world order. That's right. right. We are the new world order. The That's hell with right. the Esau. Right. The hell with China. Right. We're going to rule. Go to Daniel 7, 27. Bring it out. This is what we want. We don't want no negotiations. We don't want no marching. Hey, brother. Got a, got a question for you. Yeah, you knew it was coming. You knew it was coming. What's, What's your nationality? Alright. You said it's because of your father, right? Yes. Hey, that's a dope bracelet, man. Uh, um, I guess uh, my father, he is uh, light-skinned um, uh, uh, black. Is he born in America? Yeah. Is he the ancestor of the slave trade? Uh, I, I wouldn't know. I didn't. I haven't. I didn't talk to him about that. All right. And my family doesn't really okay. express their history. Alright. Alright. So what do you consider yourself? Um, okay, okay, um, I, I like to think, like, that you are, like, what your spirit is, you know, not, like, so much what your flesh is, so, back, if I... Oh, hold on, let me stop you. Okay. The seed comes from the Father. You are what your Father is. Okay. All right, so what is your nationality? I would say black. Black, black. light-skinned, uh, black American. Okay, you're black, right? Yeah. What color is my boot? Uh, that, that boot is black. Are you that color? No. So what color are you? Melanated. Yeah. Melanated. All right. Is that a nationality? No. You see how the enemy has destroyed our people? We're calling ourselves a color in a crayon box. Bring it out. Bring it out. Do you, do you realize that? That we are so destroyed that we refer to ourselves as a color in a crayon box. Bring it out. You know in a job application, they ask you to define who you are? I don't put it. I don't put anything. I'm not black. I'm not African. Are you African? Well, how do you know you're not African? Give me Exodus 11 and 7. Bring it out! Oh, hey, you good. <laughs> no, the Most High is good. That's right. That's right. Hey, man. Well, how are you African? Are you African? This is what the nations tell us. This is what America tells us, that we're Africans. This is what your so-called leaders tell you. They tell you you're African. What? We gonna see what God says. Read. That's right. Exodus! Chapter 11, verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel. So against any of the children of Israel, which is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. We shall not a dog move his tongue. Now, is he talking about the dog, the animal dog, or is he referring to other nations as dogs? We're going to see. We against man or beast. These are the nations now he's supposed to speak against our pets. We that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. God put a difference between the Africans and the Israelites. So we're not Africans. We are better than the Africans. That's right. We are better than all nations on the earth. That's right. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Bring it out. We are better than every nation on the earth. But America has told you no. You're all one people. No, you're not. We're better. We're the top nation on the earth. That's but right. we're in the bottom now because of our sins. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. God says we are holy unto him. Read. And the Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special to be a special people unto himself. God chose us to be special. You have something in your closet that you like to wear? That's, that's your favorite color? That's special to you, isn't it? Right, I know. We're going to address that too. Read. Above. What? Above. No, equal to. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. We're above all nations on the earth. We are the top.
corrupt nation on the earth. But we don't know it. If we knew that, we would carry ourselves differently. We wouldn't look down when the other nations come. We hold our head up because we are the top nation. We have to repent, keep God's commandments in the faith of Christ. That's right. Now, brother, explain that top to me. Explain it to you? Yes. Oh, like, like to get on me? Uh, all right. Well, no. Um, Give me First Corinthians 6 and 9. Yeah. This personally to me, like, I just kind of like try to simplify my style. So all right. I wear something that's comfortable for me. Okay. And, uh, Hold that. And, yeah, this, and it's green. And I believe in, like, you know, uh, like, you know, like chakras and stuff. So, like. Chakras. Uh, yeah, chakras. Like, uh, that. Chakras. Yeah. What the hell has chakras done for our people? Oh, okay. Nothing. Help. Nothing at all. That's Eastern mysticism. That's right. But we're going to show you the characteristics of the Lord. Read. Bring it out. Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. Hold on, bro. Just one more scripture. Hold on. You know what's coming out. Read. The Lord is a man. A what? A man. A what? A man uh -huh. of war. That's, That's right. right. The Lord That's is right. a man of war. That's right. But America's got a man effeminate. That's now give me that First Corinthians 6 and 9. Bring it out. We're going to address this. We got our women out there fighting our battles. What the hell is this? Stand up and be a man. Yeah. Yeah. Your to be a man. Sucker jiving is over. Your time is over. Read that. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So the unrighteous, those are Israelites that are not keeping commandments. You're not getting in the kingdom. Right. Read. Be not deceived. Don't be deceived. I don't care what Pastor Porchop tells you. You're not getting the kingdom. If you're not keeping the commandments. Read. Neither fornicators. Fornicators won't get in. Nor idolaters. If you're worshiping idols, like this demon, if you're worshiping this, you're not getting in the kingdom. That's right. Read. No adulterers. No adulterers. You cheat on your wife. A woman can cheat on your husband. You're not getting in. No effeminates. No what? No effeminates. No, everybody can get in. No effeminates. Hey, Amen. Yeah. If you're effeminate, you're not getting in the kingdom. That's right. The most high God wants men in his kingdom. That's right. He wants mighty men in his kingdom. Right. He don't want anybody that's effeminate. Christ was not effeminate. Christ is a man of war. That's right. right. Give me Matthew 10, 34. Bring it out. But the pastor, these jacklegs, have told you that Christ is peace. He came to give peace. We all see what the Bible says. Bring it out. Either might shoot you down and you forgive him. You're bugged out of your mind. Right. I don't forgive him. Right. I'm going to death for him. That's, That's right. right. Read. Matthews chapter 10 verse 34. Think not that I have come to send peace on earth. Christ said think not. Don't you even think in your mind that came to send peace on earth. But what's the Christianity tells you? Christ came to send peace. They're lying against the Bible. Read that again. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I am come not to send peace but a sword. A sword. Christ came to send a sword. What's a sword used for? War and destruction. That's what a sword is used for. But the owner, know, I know what's in the mind of the Christian. I got good white friends. Really? Yeah, Becky likes me. Becky goes to lunch with me. Bob buys me lunch. Give me Jeremiah 30 and 16. Bring it out. We, we don't see what the most High has in store. For these nations. It's time for you to raise up as a man. You're not underneath your woman. You're above your woman. That's You're above right. all the nations. That's right. You are the leader of your nation. That's right. And it's high time to wake out of the sleep that the church has been putting you in. I know. I was in the church almost 40 years asleep, not knowing who I was, right. who my enemy was. Now I know who I am. All praise to the most high. That's right. I'm an Israelite. From the tribe of Judah, That's the prophet, right. coming to wake up my people. That's right. Read that. Bring it out. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee, all they that devour you, you Israelites, 
all they, these other nations that devour you, especially the Edomite, the red man, we shall be devoured. Shall be what? Shall be devoured. No, but I have good white friends. Shall be devoured. We don't. And all thine adversaries, every one of them. No, what? Every one of them. No, I got good friends. Every one of them uh -huh. shall go into captivity. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. The Most High said that the other nations are going into captivity, which is slavery. Read that again. Every one of them shall go into captivity. I don't care how nice he treats you. He only treats you nice because of the Most High. Bring it up. Hold that. Give me Jeremiah 15, 11. Bring it up. You give so much credit to your enemy. All credit goes to the Most High. That's right. Read that. Jeremiah chapter 15 verse 11 the Lord said verily it shall be well with thy remnant it shall be well with our remnant we verily I will cause the enemy cause who the enemy that's the problem our people don't think they have enemies they think the enemy is some dude down under the ground with a pitchfork your enemy is walking around you every day. Right. You work with them every day. That's right. You go to church with them. Lord have mercy. You go to church with them every day. Yeah. Your enemy is of the nations That's and right. the red man. Who you call the white man. Bring it out. The red devil. Bring it out. That's your enemy. That's right. Wake up. Read. Verily, I will cause the enemy to entreat thee well to do what to entreat thee well uh -huh. in the time of evil so the most high god puts a spirit on your enemy to treat you well if you're keeping his commandments now the question is we know the problems what's the solution give me matthew 19. bring it up 16. bring it up we're gonna go through the solutions we already know what the problems are we don't know who we are Right, brother? We don't know who we are. Men like yourselves, you should be over here. Teaching our youth, out. teaching our younger men right. how to be a man. That's right. That's what you should be. You understand that, brother? You're an Israelite. That's who you are. You're not black and African American. They change our nationality, what, every 20, 40 years? Color, Negro, black. Afro-American, a hairstyle, right. African-American. Right. No, we are the Israelites. That's right. Read. Matthews, chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So his brother came to Christ. He said, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I might get into a kingdom live forever? That's a question that you all should be asking. What do I have to do? Because the pastor told me I could do whatever I want. I'm covered in the blood of Jesus. Let's, what, let's see what Christ says. Read. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. Christ said there's none good but one. Who is that? That is God. Christ gave all honor to the Heavenly Father. That's right. Read on. But if thou wilt enter into life, if you want everlasting life, you want to get in the kingdom, what do you have to do? Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. That's what you have to do. Right. Give me Proverbs 72. Bring it now, up. Now, was Christ saying anything different that was, than that was in the Old Testament? He's saying the same thing. Bring it out. But Christianity told you the Old Testament has been done away with. Right. The New Testament was not around when Christ was on the earth. That's right. Christ is quoting from the Old Testament. Hey, all right. Read that. Proverbs chapter 7 verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. Do what? Keep my commandments and live. Now go back to Matthew 18, 19, and 17. Matthew 19 verse 17. And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. But if thou will enter into life, keep the commandments. If you want everlasting life, keep the commandments. Give me Isaiah 55. Isaiah 55. It's high time for you to wake out of your sleep. 
so-called black man, so-called Hispanics. Look at them devils over there preaching the, the demonic religion of Jehovah wickedness. Bring it out. Isaiah 55, give me verse 6. Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Seek the Lord while he may be found in his Bible. Search out your fathers. Find out who you are. Read. Call ye upon him while he is near. Call upon him while he's near. Repent of your sins while the Lord can be found. Read. Let the wicked forsake his way. You Israelites are not keep the commandments. Repent and keep the laws of the faith of Christ. That's right. right. Turn from your wicked ways. Read. And the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. Return unto the Lord. That is our salvation. That's right. That is it. Not the pastor. Not the politicians. Not these so-called leaders leading you astray from the Most High God. The salvation is in the Lord and keeping His commandments. That's in right. In the of Christ. That's right. That's our salvation. And until you do that, you will be destroyed. That's in right. Luke 13 to 3. Bring it out. This is the last scripture I'm bringing out. No. And this is what Christ said. Read that. Luke chapter 13, verse 3. I tell you, nay. But except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. Christ is saying, unless you repent, drop dead. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.